Hey everyone, it's Luandile here, the leader and the instructor of Maneko School. And today we're gonna be jumping on to the whole new uh, chapter, which is entitled Selections. We're basically going to play around with if all statements, switch statements, and other things too. So, of course, what gonna determine is the is the exercises themselves. It's gonna depend on what exercising we do or on what exercise we actually do. I mean, yeah, yeah, that should be it. Without any waste of time, let's just get on to the question itself. Oh, by the way, I was actually uh I just woke up. I was I was taking a nap, so I just woke up. I don't know if my uh, if my voice can uh, can be heard properly, but I hope so. So without any waste of time, let's just jump on to it. Okay, to start with, I will simply read the question through and then later on go to the solution. So it's an algebra problem. We basically doing uh, we basically solving quadratic equations. Okay, so the f okay the two roots of a quadratic equation a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero can be obtained using the following formula. Okay, they told us that. As you guys can see, I don't have to say it out loud what's going on here. I don't have to say... I don't have to say a thing. Everyone can see that R is equal to minus B. R is equal to minus B plus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And R2 is equal to minus B. Minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. b squared minus 4ac is called a discriminant of the quadratic equation. If it is positive, the equation has two real roots. If it is zero, the equation has one root. If it is negative, the equation has no roots. Okay. So we gotta write a program that prompts the user to answer values for a, b, and c and displays their results based on the discriminant okay if the discriminant is positive display two roots if the discriminant is zero display one root otherwise display the equation has no roots note that you can use method pow x and user 0 0.5 to compute square root of x okay here are sample runs and as you guys can see Oh, before I even, uh, in fact, what I should have done is to show you guys the textbook we're using in case you're watching this for the very first time. This is the textbook here. You can search it anywhere online and uh, so that you can have your own copy. Otherwise, I don't want to lie to you guys. You will be wasting your time. Why? Because the grass look greener on the other side of the fence. In simple terms, some things, they always look simple and straightforward in your eye. Only to find that if you actually think about the details or when you think about uh, what it took in order to reach that level, that's where you get to realize that it is quite a difficult thing to do. Okay. So right now, again, I'll go back to the question itself. Oh, another thing. In case you're curious, why am I using the latest edition? It's simple. Not the why am I not using the latest edition? It's simple and straightforward. I don't want guys. I don't want people out there to copy and paste my solution. So what I want you to do is to have your own copy of this PDF and then try to attempt these exercises beforehand. And then afterwards, you come and check your solution, or rather, compare your solution to my solutions okay so that should be it let's stop let me stop with the talking and try to actually do the coding itself i've already read the question and i'm not gonna do that again in case you have to you can pause this video and then start over read the question okay so right now what i want to do is to simply create a project i'll simply name that project exercise 
3.1 this is our naming convention convention what we do is we we call our projects the name of uh, the class i mean the name of the exercise we are about to do so where's my where's my folder oh this is it right here i'm so sorry for that you guys you see i've got uh that's my niece annoying right now so she's a bit annoying sometimes and they are and because i decided to take this video from home of course this might have a negative impact on you guys so sorry for that again as you can see she's literally crying right now and like there's nothing much i can do rather than continuing giving you guys the solution Again, I'm not quite sure at the moment how many solutions I'm going to have for this problem. So it's 3 underscore underscore 3. I mean, I sh should go 1 and then A. Which simply says th we're doing this from student A's perspective. I promise you guys now there will be... Uh... There will no longer be any mumbling. We no longer have. Uh, we no longer are gonna have any words. It's a. It's time to code. It is time. We talk the talk. Of Java programming right now. Again, okay. what's the very first thing to do? The very first thing I will do will be to create a scanner. Create a scanner. I'll be to create a scanner. I'll be to create a scanner. As you see, you guys, hey, people, they passing by, they yelling and everything. But what matters the most is what you see on the screen. System dot in. Can go system dot in here. Everyone knows that. And another thing. You might hear people greeting me in my language, of course. So I hope, again, that's not going to get on your way. What you want to do is to simply focus on what's happening on the screen. That's all. Okay, we got to create a scanner. What we then do, we declare. Again, I'm not uh, bothering much up myself much about comments. Why we did a lot. Uh, we deal with... We dealt a lot with comments on my previous chapter. In case you haven't watched it, please do so. Chapter 2 on that same exercise. I mean textbook. So declare variables to hold A, B, and C. Okay, we simply do that by going A, B, C. What you wanna do now wanna prompt the user to enter oh why did I do do enter A B and C okay system dot out dot print and I'm trying to be as fast as I can now I've been talking a lot okay now we gotta go enter A B enter a b c what we then do is to go a is equals to scanner dot next everyone knows this part how to read uh, a value from a keyboard so i'm assuming there's nothing much to explain on this right once we do that we gotta calculate calculate our discriminant okay I don't even know if I spelled that correctly but even if I didn't this is not an English class okay or tutorial rather discriminant that's gonna be B times B minus 
times A times C. That should be it. Again, okay, as you guys can see, I hope you guys can see, we're no longer uh, doing stupid things such as uh, having bad, bad names for your variables. We, we will always have uh, descriptive names from now onwards. We're no longer forgetting comments. So from now onwards, we'll be having code which is well commented, right? Okay. Those are the kind of mistakes that student B, A, did. So now he's he has improved. So I hope you did too. Okay. So discriminant, if discriminant is greater than zero, what is it we say or rather do? We will go or we'll find two real roots. Okay. Okay, double first root is given as uh, it's minus it's minus b plus med dot pow and here I'll put no I don't of course I have to put discriminant there because I want the square roots of discriminant. Check this out, you guys. We were all we were told here that um, method power x, and if you put uh, 0 0.5 next to x, that's gonna give you a square root of x. Okay. What else we then do? We simply divide the whole thing by two multiplied by a. That should be it for the first value. So without any waste of time, let me simply copy and try to paste right over here. Instead of a plus, I'll put a minus and I'll replace the word first with the word second. Again, copying and pasting logic code. I strongly don't recommend people do that. However, I'm doing it anyways. Why? I'm trying to avoid I'm trying to avoid uh, wasting too much time on this video here. We've already uh, we've already taken too much time. So what I want to do now is to give out the solution. Right? Okay, what I'll simply say is e the equation has two real roots okay and then I'll simply put those roots right here and they'll go well I need uh, six numbers after a decimal place point I mean okay then I put a F of course I have two and let me just go five numbers after a decimal point on this one Oh, let me go to the next line so that everyone can see. Again, people might be making noise. They might be making noise as they pass by. So I'm hoping you guys can properly see though what's going on on the screen. Because that's what matters the most. If you all ears, there's absolutely nothing you're going to miss right there was the first case though so else if we know that you've got three different case discre discriminant and this is our second case so in this case we're only gonna have one solution again what I can do is I don't recommend people do this what I can do is is to simply go copy. I'll simply copy what I, I'll simply copy what we had in the first case, and I'll call this root why we only having one discrimi discriminant discriminant. Did I misspell this word? 
even if I did it doesn't matter let me just copy and paste right there okay so this is what we're gonna have however you guys got to know that since I will be having more than one solution out of this exercise it won't be a best solution of course because as you guys know we've got three different students so we're doing we're doing it from three different perspectives so what i'll simply do again is go system printf and then i simply put there the equation has no i mean has one real root and i put that right here it's gonna be two point let me just put a four four numbers after a decimal point this time around i mean why not and i'll put a root here again you guys in case you've already pointed out what is a bit incorrect about this solution please let me know down in the comments that way i can assure you will be you will improve dramatically right why drastically that's what i wanted to to say why because you will be actually interacting with me because you might point out something only to find that thing that you've point out actually is a good thing to do you see but if you've pointed it out you will uh i mean you won't be the same as someone who did not point a thing out because by pointing out and find that you actually you you wrong it will make you not do such a mistake next time right i don't know if people get me there but anyways let's continue the equal way the equation equation has no roots that should be it for this tutorial folks again i strongly recommend people comment out their code so let's start let's start over right at the top what we did is we created a scanner so this is a straightforward part we declared three variables as you guys can see it's not like you always have to have the weight variable for each the weight double for each and every one of your variables especially if they have one in the same data type you can simply have uh, them declared in one line separated by commas okay so what we then did is to take user input here and then store whatever the user decided to give us to each and every one to each and every one of our variables okay once we do that we then calculate a discriminant based on those variables and then lastly that's where we will determine if our discriminant is greater than zero we calculate our first and second roots and then lastly we display the those values okay our second case we check if our discriminant is equals to zero and if it is we know that we only gonna be having one solution i mean one real roots we display that real roots and we'll be having uh two numbers after a decimal point and then lastly this is our last case where our discriminant is actually not where our discriminant is negative so we basically will be having a square root of a negative number which is undefined if you punch it on your calculator right okay let's try to read to hit the run button i don't wanna talk much about the square root of a negative number but if you do mathematics or if you did mathematics you would know that that belongs to uh, complex numbers so i don't want to even talk a bit about what those are right so basically now we let, let me take uh, the exact values they decided to use here so it's it's one it's one three and one i'll try to put exactly that and see what we get so we have these two values 
now you've got to check if they correspond with the, if they correspond with what they give us it seems like the the two numbers do correspond let's try the second one oops what was that i did not do that intentionally okay let me start over and try to copy and paste what i'm trying to do here folks i'm trying to show that my answer is indeed correct so it's not like i'm giving you wrong answers wrong solutions i mean all of my solutions they do work of course why did you have a uh, minus zero point minus one point zero zero and four zeros it's simply co because right here i decided to make my output have uh, four numbers after a decimal point and since this is a one those numbers will be zeros with that i mean that there will be all of course you can type cast and of course you can change of course you can change this value here but we don't have to do that because why we still have got to check other cases too see if you point if you put uh another number here another number for a b and c for example let me try to put something else however i want b squared minus 4ac to be 0 oh it doesn't matter you know what let me just not do that let me continue with the last case you can play around with this any way you like you will see it yourself you guys what i was trying to say what i was trying to say is we don't have to make we don't have to change this in order to get that minus one instead of minus 1.00 this minus one here right so that should be it for this tutorial you guys i'll see you on the next one and please let me know what is it you think we did wrong on this exercise and i'll try to get back to you guys i'll also give another solution on the very same exercise just to improve just to improve my solution my solution why can i pronounce that just to improve my solution here and there of course it's not a best one you can possibly have perhaps you had a, a right solution yourself so a better one compared to this one here so please let me know down in the comments and that should be it for this tutorial you guys i'll see you on the next exercise chase you guys i mean tutorial chase you guys i'm gone